I'm Avon. And I'm Kate. And I'm Sonia. Today we're dishing with you from Chef Tony's, which is located at 4926 St. Elmo's Avenue in Bethesda. The oh, heart of Bethesda. We the border. You know, when, I, when I first came to Chef Tony's, I, I guess I thought it was all Italian food, but he's actually... It's a seafood. Like, like, seafood. Right I know, I know. Right but you know what you can get? You can get, um, he will make amazing oh. pasta, but he can also make you anything else. Because Chef Tony, we'd like to have some of your amazing pasta. I had <laughs> some <laughs> incredible fish. Um, he's the seafood guru here in town, so I'm sure that's the best the crab, cake. Best crab cake you've ever eaten. And good hummus, which is always good in a pinch, and, um, and being healthy in the, in the spring. See, hum the hummus thing is only one part. The other, the big part of hummus, too, is the, is the bread. Or the butcher really? Using. Yeah, the pita bread is huge. Okay. Well. This is, like, phenomenal. Look how thick that is and fluffy. Well, it is. It looks good. Right here in Wafting Bethesda, right in the heart of downtown. Yeah. And our guest today is Rachel Gloss of A Chic Affair. You're the executive pro executive producer yeah. of A Chic Affairs. So tell us what A Chic Affair is. Is this A, a chic, chic Affair? affair? This is a very chic affair. Oh, thank <laughs> you. But what is your Chic Affair? A Chic Affair is a luxury consumer event for the bridal market. Okay. Um, it is eight years old and originated in Los Angeles. And we moved it to Washington last year. It was our first year. Because more people get married. And this is a wedding thing, right? It's a wedding oh, thing. So more people get married in Washington? It's actually Washington? just because I'm biased. I'm a oh. Was native Washingtonian. Okay. I grew up oh. in Alexandria. Um, ran to the left coast for a, a long time. Was out there for about seven years and came back. And when I uh, got started with the show, I thought it would be a really great fit here because it's not um, anything like how you think a, a bridal show is. This is not a bridal expo in a convention center, $5 ticket, right. 900,000 brides. What makes yours different and better? It's a marriage, pardon the pun, oh, of nice. I like upscale, <laughs> upscale luxury vendors. Uh, Bloomingdale's, William Sonoma, Joe Malone, Frette Linen, really the Monique Lillier, Cartier, the biggest kind of most uh, very luxurious wedding vendor with local gems. So the very best of the best stationers from the DC area, the very best florists, the very best you know transportation. This is really a show for, we say, the discerning, modern, and savvy bride. It's got a little bit of an urban kind of edge yeah. to it. Um, it's much more a day where you come and you have cocktails and hang out with your girlfriends and you just, we say, celebrate the art of getting married and peruse these. Like As opposed that. to the stress of getting the married. The stress of every getting bride married. knows, like, sort of like. Okay, you well, get, you know. Yeah, because you get engaged and then She's suddenly your married. mother calls you and says, do you know how much luxury porta potties cost? And you're like, what? <laughs> True story. Absolutely. True story. It was like the first call I got. So this is a way of, you know, getting in a fun environment. No, swear, that's really what happened to me. And you can, like, have all these things at your feet without feeling yes. like the pressure of those so boots. Do you, have, do you have to be? Do you have to be a little bit more um, um, targeted in who you bring into the expo? And do the, you to have to be getting in married or engaged to go to this? Because you it definitely sounds like a don't good have time. to be. It's a great time. We have a lot, a lot of fun. So you don't have to be married or getting married or, or engaged to come because you throw parties, and that's essentially exactly, what it is. exactly. Um, but we do have. We we are quite targeted in terms of who our partners are. We're partnered up this year. One of our um, presenting sponsors is DC Magazine, kind of a, a, a purveyor of all things luxurious mm -hmm. here in the city, as well as uh, Brides Washington and Brides.com. Um, and they help us, you know, reach that modern savvy bride. Um, the show is very multifaceted. There's a lot going on at this show. We do, um, obviously, we've got hors d'oeuvres and cakes and champagne and all of the vendors, but we also do a Conversations with Experts series, Whoa. The State of the Union. Again, me with nice. my puns tonight in Washington. Oh, high five. Yes. I'm <laughs> okay. Sorry, across from you. Okay. <laughs> Which um, this year we're very excited. Actually, about two hours ago, we confirmed that we're going to have Christian Siriano from Project Runway is going to be participating this year. He does fabulous year. draping in the ruching fabulous, and the fabulous, and he gowns. has a bridal line. Yeah, and, no, fantastic. Um, he is from the Washington area, so we're very excited to have him this year. We also do a huge, very over-the-top, highly conceptualized fashion show. Nice. And last year, it was uh, with. Um, Gala Events Inc. out of Rockville who do this completely over the top couture. They've been in platinum weddings, very, very high end um, custom design work. And they 
made us last year this huge graffiti facade and all of this you know very kind of urban grungy very over the top um, juxtaposition with these beautiful gowns which this year are going to be done by Chevy Chase Bridal which is brand new up in Chevy Chase not so far away from where we are right now right and Gala Events Inc um, is creating I, I don't want to give too much away but it, you've never seen anything it's like not it in the Washington sort of background with so no the it's show. nothing like it is if there? you see a giant black tent on K Street starting Ooh. on March 10th that's us so Excited. you can peek in but see us. And chic implies that you're that these brides who you're catering to are, are not on a budget which is not a reality so it's true that's very true um, the beauty of the vendors that we work with is they they're not only the most luxurious but they really are the best of the best you know they the return on investment exactly is important. exactly you know if you have a vision about what you want your wedding day to look like mm -hmm. the it's a much smaller show we only invite 45 vendors to be part of the show but these 45 vendors are going to give you give you that day right you're not going to get the awkward family photo wedding no. portrait. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. Glamour shots. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, we've gotten a great response to it here. We sold out the event last year. We'll definitely sell it out again this year. And tickets are already on sale and getting snapped up really, really quickly. But to go back to your question, I'm totally hogging this segment. <laughs> okay, so That's you're both first. single. You're both single. But should they go? To, you know, they're they're not engaged. Should they go to this event? It definitely is. You're going to get more out of it if. If you're engaged, um, it's mm -hmm. gonna. But it yeah. sounds like a place really? to find out about trends no. too. I mean, some people you're exactly just right. like to know about what the hot new trend is. Maybe even in, in wedding wear, or also if I was the going to be wedding, a bridesmaid, yeah. or oh, yeah. to pick out that hot new, you know, the cake, or exactly. whether people are doing cupcake cakes now, or whatever the trends are. It sounds like it these is. are what the luxury it? trends. Is it cupcake cakes? Cupcake cakes, I think we're actually starting to move away from. Right. We've Good. seen so a lot of trends these, now. We've seen a lot of these lollipop like oh, little cupcake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yep, you yep. seen those? I have. That's been very popular. The cakes, by far, are one of the you know even even if you're not engaged and you want to come and you want to yeah. eat Big some really great food. Big poofy dresses or what, what's, dress? well, yeah, what's the the dress? You know, everything I would everything. say uh, this no year rules. I'm seeing a lot of um, kind of retro, a oh, lot yeah. of a lot of lace, lace, very lace heavy this year, um, which we were kind of getting into last year. I'm very very excited about what you're going to see on that runway show. I mean, that's really a great, um, you know, if you're single and you just want to come see a completely blow out of the water real couture runway show in Washington. This is the only place I've found it. Excellent. So yeah, colored wedding eat. dresses. You never Not know. Not on our show last year, but oh. I can't you're, say too oh. much, but maybe. You're going to have to go and find out. Our, uh, our theme this year is Alice in Wedding Land, <gasps> so it's going to be a real kind of... You will find me the there top. at this event. <laughs> so give our viewers all the details on tickets, where they can purchase them, and... It is March 13th at the Historical Society on K Street, right next to the Convention Center, and you can buy tickets at www.achicaffairdc.com, and it's C-H-I-C, achicaffairdc.com, on March 13th. That's right. Great. It sounds like a place it is. where... It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be learning about all the trends and yeah. maybe eating a little wedding cake, A little too. bit. A lot of, a lot of pop cake... Uh, pop Six Thanks so days, much yeah. for being with us, Rachel. Thank you. And as always, thank you for being with us here on this episode of The District Dish. Check back next time and see who we're dishing with.